let's look at how to connect to a Cisco device using Telnet. So I have a Cisco device here. So I will go into enable mode. Now, there are two passwords you have to set in order to be able to use Telnet to log in. First, you have to set the VTY line passwords. And second, you have to have the enable password set in order to get from user mode to privilege mode. So I'll start with the VTY passwords. So I go into configuration, enable configuration. And from there I do line VTY04. And I need to set the password. So I do password and I will set my password to be Aloha123. I use the word login to allow logins to happen on that line. Next, I need to set the enable, enable password or the enable secret password. So I'll just do enable password. And I'll set the password to Aloha123. At this point, I should be able to connect to my machine. So the next step I'm going to do is go over and turn on Telnet. So I have a Windows machine here. I'm in the control panel. So you need to go into the Windows features, turn Windows features on and off in order to make sure you have Telnet. All right. So I have to go to this window and it will take a little while as it checks for things. Once it loads up and lists the features, you can go down to the Telnet client check the Telnet client and click OK. And this will then start, well, I guess it just says to copy the Telnet client over, but it says it takes a long time to make changes and that can be a problem, but you just have to sit there and wait. After it finishes installing the Telnet client, you'll see this Windows feature thing go away and you'll be back to the control panel and you can just exit out of the control panel. I've just started up a command prompt. So now I want to make sure that I can ping the router first. So I ping 172.16.0.1 and it looks like I can ping the router okay. So that's a good sign. Now the next step is to use the telnet command I just installed to tell net 172.16.0.1 and it prompts me for the password. So this is the VTY password first. So that's Aloha123. From here, I need to get into privilege mode, so I type in enable. And once again, the password is Aloha123. I can then show my running configuration. And you can see that I got in just fine. So this is how you configure Telnet. Thanks to Cisco Advices.